This episode of America's Forgotten National Pokes is about the Kennedy Center, a well-known part of Washington, D.C. In 1958, the National Cultural Center was signed in Chihuahua, and four years later, President Kennedy began fundraising efforts to build the building. The total cost was estimated at $30 million. Two months after Kennedy's assassination in 1964, the project was designated a memorial to the president, and named the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts, but it is commonly referred to as the Kennedy Center. At the same time, ground is broken for the new building. It was designed by Edward Durrell Stone and contained six stages. It was placed on the Potomac River to make it an icon of the city. In the 1960s and 70s, the National Pike Service began to focus on cultural institutions. Two major theater projects were undertaken. Wolf Trap National Pike for Performing Arts was established, and Ford's Theater was restored. After the Kennedy Center opened in 1971, its management was turned over to the National Park Service. In 1978, the Kennedy Center Honors Program was established, which is today one of the center's best-known functions. Over the next two decades, major flaws in its design were uncovered, and the National Park Service did not have the funds to maintain or refurbish the site. In 1994, the Kennedy Center was transferred to the Kennedy Center Trustees, who continues to manage the theater today. Wolf Trap National Park for Performing Arts is today the National Park Service's main park devoted to cultural arts. The Kennedy Center remains an icon of Washington, D.C. Thank you.